Hey everybody, Neil here, Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'm just going to be showing you some cool apps and widgets that'll allow you to never miss an upcoming date. This will be useful if you're very forgetful, you don't want to miss an anniversary or such because you would get your ass whooped by your significant other. Or you're counting down the days till that movie comes out, you want to camp out for the premiere. Or you could have used this for the release of the Xbox. You count down days or you don't want to miss a date. This will be useful. And I'm just going to be showing you some cool widgets and, and an app that will help you. So the first one I'm going to use is a real basic one. It's called 321 Countdown. You can get this from the um, Google Play Store. Just look up 3-2-1 Countdown widget. And I have the light version. And uh, first off, the only I'm going to point out some negatives about this is the widget only comes in one size and it's the 2x1. Um, I mean if you're a minimalist I would definitely recommend this. You can only have one date at a time so only one widget at a time for this particular widget and it's only one size but I mean it's straightforward. You click the widget, put it where you want it. I want it on my home screen so I can never lose sight of it and I'll place it down here. Alright, so you're placing the widget, now it's time to set the event. Another bad thing that I really don't like is to insert a text specifying the event. You need to click right beneath this banner and this line. It's kind of difficult, but after that you can actually set the event. So I'm going to set, for an example, I'm going to put B-Day. Um, after that, click the calendar, set the event. Let's just do December 6th. I can also de set the year and such. Um, time, you want to do a specific time. Time's really easy. Goes by hour, then the minute, a.m., p.m., done. Um, and that's it. That's it for the live version. You want to do the paid version, it's about a, a buck something, not even $2. And the features you can unlock is the alarm, which I think is the main thing you want. Um, type of text, the background, you can set a picture. But other than that, if I said again, if you're a minimalist, I would suggest this. So you check it. And that's it. So now on my homepage, I'll never forget or keep it out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. So if I keep it in mind, I'm never going to forget. It's just going to count it down. It's going to count down days, hours, and minutes. So that's the first one. It's pretty cool. Um, if you want a little, something a little bit more eccentric, I would suggest the really popular countdown widget. Just click on the widget after you download it. Search Google. Google Play It's just called countdown widget. Um, again, to bring this up, you would go to your widgets. Alright, the cool thing about this is there's three sizes. There's a 3 by one there's one by one and there's 2 by one Now, the 3 by one lets you... Uh, view the how many days hours and minutes if you do the um the two by one it'll just say the days and it'll it'll say the description and it'll show you the date the actual date of the event and if you do just a one by one it's just going to do days so for the sake of this just do the three by one so we can see days hours and minutes and since it's three by one the thing i hate is that you can't center this one so i'll just put it like in the top right all right, after you set it, it's going to ask you for a title. Let's put concert. Event date. You can set the date, the month, the year. You can do a time if you'd like. And this actually goes by military time, so 24-hour clock. Um, and after that, you can actually, which is cool, there's different styles to the actual timer. You can do just straight text, you can do a little translucent border, you can do digital, I don't know what this is, some cool banners, it's a seasonal one, and then of course you can do the add-ons, but I think that's kind of pointless. So after you've chosen everything, you go and start countdown. So that's there, and again, like I said, you can add multiple ones, so if you go to widgets again, you can actually just pick this one and you can have more than one so you can keep track of more than one event alright so uh, those are the widgets 
which I really like because it keeps it right there and you're constantly being reminded of it even if it's a couple of days ahead. And also recommended if you don't want to receive a notification the day of and have it actually sneak up on you, put the put the countdown um, a couple of days before or a day before or hours before. That's also useful. Well, if you don't want a widget, let's go to count it down. This one's also cool. Um, basically, let's go add an event. Um, again, let's put let's put B day. You can put a description. You can add the time, date. Mine's actually December twenty first, so why not just do that? Um, oh, you can also choose a picture for the event, which is pretty cool. I don't want to do that for this. So let's just all the information looks good, and let's just um, set it. So now it'll say it'll list all your events that you've uh, inputted. I put Armageddon. That was yesterday. My B day is in 16 days. Christmas is in 20 days, and Star Wars Episode Seven is coming out in two years. So that's also cool. And um, this will be up to you to open the app and actually keep track of your um, events. But you'll actually you'll actually get a notification the day of. It'll just be something in your notification bar, like a little a little sound will come up, and you'll see it. Um, <clears throat> You can actually click on it and see all the information of your event. You can scroll through and see the rest of your set dates. And um, that's basically it for this one. It's it's pretty straightforward to set it and keep track of it because it's not going to be a widget on your desktop or anything. Um, I hope those tools help you. I hope you never miss an anniversary. I hope you use it for your anticipation of a of a release of something special, maybe a movie. Um, let me know if you guys found it useful. Leave a comment, like, don't dislike, subscribe, and enjoy.